All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. I can see that my son has been blindfolded. He doesn't even have a clue as to what is called a wife any longer. Of all the women in this world, the one you could pick is a mere cleaner. You even have the guts to bring her home. It's not a mere cleaner. Okay, so then what is she? Well, what's, what's, what's the job of people? Why do you really focus on, on people's status instead of what they come inside of them? Really? Yes, really. I mean, haven't you heard of the saying that you, you pick your wife based on your ears and not your eyes? Come on, Mom. Look beyond what you're saying. I didn't know how to tell you. I've been feeling somehow lately, so I decided to run a test and I... I... Talk to me. You're what? Pregnant. Really? <laughs> really? Then let's, let's... Let's get married. No, how about your parents? They have alone. Everything will be fine. Just you and I. Everything will be sorted out. I don't like the fact that you've been negative and you keep on insisting that we shouldn't get married. I'm not trying to face the truth. Um, I, honestly, didn't you hear what the doctor said? We are both AS and there is nothing we can do about that. But the truth is we have to remain positive. <sighs> yes, we, we have to remain positive about the situation. Honestly, I'm a realist. And I don't want to bring a child into this world to make the child suffer or lose the child. How did it go? What happened? It didn't go well then. What do you mean it did not go well? What did the result say? SS. The baby's genotype is SS. Ah. Alright guys, so this one, the title, Love Lessons, I think is a really interesting one that we need to talk about. The link to the movie is going to be in the description, so please you guys should do well to go and watch it. It's very interesting and it's really imperative that we talk about it. Now, it has to do with blood, compatibility in relationships. And for this, I'm talking about like the, you know, genotype, uh, blood group, all that stuff. A lot of us get into these relationships and we don't ask questions. Like, what is the point of wasting years in a relationship when both of you are AS, for instance? Or maybe there's one person that's SS and the other person is AS. You know, because what happens is, you know, after all this time, when it's now time to get serious and you throw this question out and, you know, both of you now happen to be AS, that means there's a chance that you guys would have an SS child. Uh, for those that don't know, SS would be a sickle cell child. Yes, there's a lot of technological advances from way back when people with SS tend to die very young, but it still doesn't take away the fact that they're going to go through stuff. They're going to go through stuff in life. Whatever the child is going through definitely affects the parents. So marrying two people that are AS, getting married, means that there's a chance that one of the kids will be SS, sickle cell child. And in most cases, there's that whole, you know, advice to don't get married. You guys are not compatible, you know. But what seems to happen is because this discussion is not brought up early, by the time it's being brought up, People have invested so much into that relationship that they don't want to go their separate ways anymore. And they decide to leave it up to God, you know. When two people are AS, there's the possibility of a child being AA, being AS, or being SS. Now, if you have one person being an AA and then the other person AS, that means that, you know, all the kids would either be AA or AS. There's not going to be any SS. So that's why this whole compatibility check is important. You might as well ask this on time. Once you realize, okay, this person is cool, in the first few stages of your discussion, find out. Are they AA? Are they AS? Are they SS? Find this out because, you know, it, it, it kind of removes the whole idea of wasting time. Uh, if you guys are both AS, then... What's the point of finding out if they're a good person? There's no point because, you know, 
either way it's still not gonna work out i mean i'm not saying that people that are two people that are heirs should not get married but the thing is that you know why would you sign your own self up for suffering you know why would you sign up to you know bring a child to the world that would suffer there's no need for that so it's easier to break this off at the beginning you know, two people are like, yes, yes, uh, you know, this is not going to work. It's nice meeting you. You shake the person. If you guys want to be or remain friends, you can. But there is no deep connection that's formed. You know, nobody has invested in each other. So at that point, it's easy to just walk away. Oh, yeah, she's really cool. Oh, my God, I would have loved to date her. But, you know, it's not going to work. Now, of course, if you guys are just here for cruise, then it doesn't matter. Keep in mind that cruise better not lead to pregnancy. But at mm -hmm. least, you know, you guys are going in knowing that you're not taking anything serious with the, you know, with the relationship. But if you do, or if you are planning to, or you're looking forward to this, then of course it becomes something that needs to be discussed and, you know, you guys should put a cap to going further because it's, it's going to be pointless. Um, so the point to take from this is simple. You know, when you meet somebody that you are trying to get in a relationship with and, you, you know, you plan on this thing being something serious, then the issue of, you know, are they AA, AS should come up immediately. You know, you got to bring that up and talk about it. You have to. In that way, you guys know if you're moving forward or if you're not moving forward, you know. And at that point, it's going to be easy to, you know, drift apart because nobody has invested any serious time or energy into that relationship so that's about it for this one guys uh, it's not too much uh, if you've not watched the movie please the link will be in the description amazing movie to watch you know great characters and you know great storyline so uh, again you know if you love this kind of content please like share support by subscribing and following this is cj from mcnally studios and i'm here to deliver sense.